Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, strategy design pattern implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, strategy design pattern introduction, strategy design pattern real time example, strategy design pattern class diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. And uh, in uh, D drive, I have uh, Java files folder. Okay. So in that uh, Java files folder, uh, there are multiple uh, files are there so my requirement is I have to uh, compress this uh, Java files folder and send the compressed uh, file to the client so for that particular requirement uh, I have two solutions one is I can uh, compress as a zip file and uh, send the zip file to the client or I can uh, compress as a RAR file and uh, send the RAR file to the client so there are two solutions are there for the particular uh, problem so as per uh, strategy design pattern uh, for the particular problem there will be a multiple solutions will be there and uh, client will decide which solution to use at runtime okay so for this scenario we will see how we can uh, uh, write the class diagram and how we can uh, implement the java code okay This is the class diagram of the scenario which you have uh, just seen. So here you can see a uh, compression strategy. Uh, this is an interface and it has uh, abstract method uh, compress files. It accepts uh, two parameter. Uh, the first parameter is uh, list of files uh, you want to archive. And uh, second uh, parameter is uh, name of the archive uh, file. Okay. And uh, this interface is implemented by two concrete classes. Uh, the first one is uh, SIP compression uh, strategy. The second one is uh, RAR compression uh, strategy. And uh, both of these uh, concrete classes provide implementation of uh, compress files. So the compress files in the SIP uh, compression strategy will uh, compress the files as a uh, SIP file. Okay. And uh, compress uh, files method in uh, uh, RAR compression strategy will uh, compress the file as a RAR file and uh, left side you can see a uh, compression uh, context and it has uh, strategy object and uh, client can uh, set what compression strategy he wants to use in order to compress the files okay using this method uh, client can uh, set the compression uh, strategy and uh, create archive method uh, the client will uh, send list of files uh, which uh, the client wants to compress and the name of the uh, archive uh, file okay so client will call this method in order to archive the files and uh, i will open eclipse and i will show you to show you the code so that you will understand uh, this one very clearly okay i have opened eclipse uh, now we'll see the code if you see the class diagram, uh, the top you can see a compression strategy interface and uh, that interface is implemented by two concrete classes. Uh, the first one is uh, SIP compression strategy and the second one is uh, RAR compression strategy. I will open those uh, Java files and explain. So this is the compression uh, strategy interface and it has abstract method uh, compress files. It accepts uh, two parameters. Uh, the first one is uh, array list of uh, files uh, which we want to uh, compress, and uh, second parameter is uh, the name of the archive uh, file. Okay, and uh, this SIP uh, compression strategy class, which implements uh, compression strategy interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, compress uh, files method. Okay. So what this method uh, does is, uh, it will uh, compress the files as a uh, SIP file, okay. And uh, RAR compression uh, strategy class, uh, which implements uh, compression strategy interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, compress uh, files method. So what this method uh, does is, uh, it will uh, compress the files as a RAR file and uh, compression uh, context uh, class uh, which has uh, strategy object and uh, 
client can uh, set what kind of uh, strategy uh, the client wants to use in order to uh, compress the file. So they can specify a SIP compression strategy or RAR compression strategy okay, by calling this method. And uh, so it has another method called uh, create archive. Uh, so you have to pass uh, list of files and uh, name of the archive file. So based on the strategy, it will uh, compress the files and uh, uh, it will give it to the client. Okay. This is the client class. Uh, so here, what I am doing is I am preparing a array list of files which I want to compress. Okay. Then uh, I am creating the compression uh, context. So in the con compression context, I am setting uh, what strategy I want to use uh, to compress the files. So first I am setting a SIP compression strategy and uh, using a compression context uh, I am creating the archive. Okay. So in the context uh, SIP compression strategy will be set. So it will use uh, SIP compression strategy to uh, SIP the files. Okay. So finally I will get uh, a compressed file as a SIP format when I execute uh, this code. Okay. And uh, Next what I am doing is I am creating the compression context and in the compression context I am uh, setting uh, RAR compression strategy. Okay, So the context will uh, create the archive using uh, RAR compression strategy and uh, it will uh, create uh, RAR file. Okay, So I will execute the code. So you can see uh, here. Uh, files are compressed using a SIP approach. Uh, Java files dot SIP file is created. So that is uh, th this part of code. Okay. And uh, next, this part of code will be executed, and it will produce this output. Uh, files are compressed using a RAR approach, and uh, Java files dot RAR file is created. Okay. Uh, so I hope you understand uh, strategy design pattern implementation. And I have put together all this sample code in my block uh, called uh, RamJTE. You can just visit this uh, block and you can get the sample code. This is about uh, strategy design pattern implementation. Thanks for watching. Bye.